Hi everyone, my name's Sam Evans. I'm the CEO of Pure IT Associates. We're a cybersecurity consultancy and advisory with a specialism in identity and access management. That's a space I've been playing around personally for the last almost 17 years. I've seen a lot of change in that time. Business has changed. Technology has changed. The way that we work and the way that we interact has really changed. But the one thing that hasn't changed is the fundamental impact that identity and access management has on securing organizations. Allowing the right access to the right people at the right time is critical. Not to mention how a consumer might authenticate into any given application safely and securely and with little to no friction. We're gonna cover three topics today. The first one being why I am is so important. The second one, why I am projects fail. And thirdly, the future of I am. I hope you gain some valuable insights. Cybersecurity's latest mantra is zero trust, a concept that tells us to never trust to always verify. And at the heart of a zero trust strategy is identity and access management. Identity and access management provides you with the ability to manage who has access to your business assets. It also allows you to manage how they get and retain that access. And crucially, it allows you to effectively manage how that access is removed when it's no longer required. The traditional perimeter that we have been used to, which is the confines of an organization with everything being local, those perimeters no longer exist as organizations move towards digital transformation, including adoption of SaaS technologies and moving towards cloud or cloud migration, identity is becoming the key perimeter which needs to be secured. These days, certification campaigns, risk analysis, and identity analytics can now provide even greater control over the effective entitlements that have been assigned to users. Over 80% of data breaches are as a result of weak or stolen passwords, possibly because over 60% of people reuse the same password everywhere. Let's take one discrete area of identity, privileged access management. Privileged accounts, those which access the most critical systems, resources and data are the keys to the crown jewels, or you could call them the master key. Typically, organizations don't have sufficient awareness of their privileged accounts and privileged pathways, with over 60% of them remained in blind spots. You can have any number of controls and technologies in place, but with unchecked privileged accounts, this is the equivalent of locking all your upper floor windows and leaving the front door wide open. Traditionally, identity and access management programs uh have had a reputation for being expensive and unlikely to realize the benefits that customers expected. When it comes to a successful IAM implementation, it depends on the customer at the end of the day and the implementer who's delivered that solution. One of the things that I've found in my successful deliveries of IAM implementations is to start with the process. Just because you always did it in a certain way doesn't mean you need to continue doing that same way. Customers rarely assigned the appropriate people with the power to undertake business process transformation in support of their IAM programs. Ensure you do a proper assessment. Ensure you have all your use cases aligned coming out of the assessment. Ensure you have a roadmap. Do a vendor selection that meets your roadmap rather than just going and selecting a vendor that sits in a top quadrant just because they're the best doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to meet all your requirements. Customers didn't realize that an IAM solution required ongoing attention, which in turn required skilled resources. Um, IAM programs are a journey and, and, and typically a common thing that we see or recommend is that organizations take a strategic path and an approach when it comes to deploying IAM. It is critical that organizations start looking at some modern capabilities and, and functionality. If we look at our authentication space today, 
majority of our authentication, whether it be personal, whether it be enterprise, is still based on passwords, which is a 61-year-old technology. And what we've done over the years is to add on additional layer of security. We've, en we've enabled capabilities like multi-factor authentication, which could be SMS text, um, could be one-time password and stuff. But, but all these capabilities really add more friction from an end user experience perspective. And we all know that passwords are not secure and we cannot really just authenticate a user based on the knowledge based authentication, which is a password. As we shape the future of IAM, it is important that organizations start looking at functionality and capabilities around simplifying that authentication process adopting a decentralized authentication flow by leveraging functionality as digital signatures, uh, which reside only on your mobile device. And this way, nobody can sort of play that man in the middle type attack. And by adopting technologies like this, it's really allowing organizations to stop all the digital fraud or phishing and all the things that tie back to things from a breach perspective. Traditional on-premises solutions can now be replaced by identity as a service offerings, reducing server footprint and administrative costs. The migration to an identity as a service offering doesn't need to be a painful one. Existing credential repositories can be leveraged to remove any kind of migration woes. Indeed, the pervasive adoption of open standards has greatly improved the interoperability of all of these platforms, removing the fear of some kind of vendor lock-in. Integration with third-party applications and services is a point-click based affair, rather than a task that relies on expensive professional services.